Testing, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
ओके इन द कैमरा पर या बिल्कुल मैम इन द कैमरा पर हैं या रेडी भाई तो चिंतन पर ना मैं रिफ्लेक्ट आउट या ऑल द मैम कौन से Kita nak. Nah, ni mungkin lah.
Sure. Thank you. 
ವರವಲ್ಲಭ ರಮಣ ವಿಘ್ನಹರಣ ವರವಲ್ಲಭ ರಮಣ ವಿಘ್ನಹರಣ ವರವಲ್ಲಭ ರಮಣ ವಿಘ್ನಹರಣ ವರವಲ್ Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to one and all. On behalf of Kala Darshana, Srimati R.P. Nagarajan and Shri A.S. Nagarajan, I am extremely pleased to extend a very warm welcome to each and every one of you to the Bharatanatyam Arangetram of Kumari Ananya Ranganayaki, disciple of Srimati Jayanti Subramanyam. I take great pleasure in welcoming our esteemed guests for this evening's recital, Kalai Mamani, Srimati Urmila Satyanarayanan, Artistic Director of Natya Sankalpa, 
and Chembai Shri R. Vaidyanathan sir, disciple of Padma Bhushan, Shri P. S. Narayana Swami. Before we proceed, I would like to introduce the members of the orchestra for this evening's recital. On the Natuvangam, our Guru, Kalemamani Srimati Jayanti Subramanyam. On vocal, Kalemamani Srimati Radha Badri. On the Mridangam, Kalemamani Sri Nellai D. Kannan. On the violin, Sri R. Kalayarasan. And Sri J. B. Shruti Sagar on the flute. Prayer clears the mist and brings back peace to the soul. And flowers form an integral part of our everyday prayer. Ananya will commence her debut solo performance with a traditional Pushpanjali in the ragam Nattai set to Adi Talam. This will be followed by a shlokam on Ganesha and an Alaripu in Khanda Chapu Talam. Thank you. 
Jati Swaram is a combination of rhythm and melody. As its name suggests, it combines jatis or rhythmic syllables and swaras or musical notes to which the dance is choreographed. The body moves in a symmetrical and rhythmic manner, exploring the given space, creating verticals, horizontals, diagonals, circles, and semicircles, producing an image of geometry and aesthetics. Presenting to you Ajati Swaram in the Ragam Saraswati set to Rupa Katalam, a composition of Kanchi Puram Ellapanatuvanar.
Shabdam holds an important place in a traditional Bharatanatyam margam as designed by the Tanjore Quartet. The concept of Abhinaya is introduced at a rudimentary level in a Shabdam. The meaning of the poetry is brought out in a simple manner without any elaborate Sanchari Bhavas. The Shabdam chosen for this evening's recital describes Muruga at different stages of his life. A toddler a young lad and a handsome youthful man astride the peacock who sought Valli's hand in marriage. Presenting to you the Shabdam Tandai Muranga in Ragamalika set to Mishra Chapatalam, a composition of Sri Shemanar Koyal Shanmugam and set to music by Madurai T. Seturaman. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
one of the greatest composers in the world of Carnatic music, an ardent devotee of Mailapur Kapaleshwara, this legendary composer has captivated the hearts of musicians, dancers, and art enthusiasts for generations to come. He was also endowed with the title of Tamil Tyagaraja, and much like Tyagaraja, all of his compositions are personal in nature and are pregnant with emotion. The colloquial and conversational style of language that he adopted in his compositions was also similar to that of Tyagaraja's. Most of his compositions are in the form of an intense dialogue with the Lord. Although many of them were predominantly composed in Tamil, he also composed in Sanskrit and Telugu. A couple of his famous kritis in these languages include Srinivasa Tavacharanam, Sri Valli Devasenapate, and Nannu Brovani Kemi. His compositions include Varnams, Kirtanams, Tillanas, operas, and several others, typically rendered on concert platforms. He has composed two operas, namely Kare Kalamayar and Sri Rama Charita Geetam, which is a Ragamalika composition consisting of 24 ragas. The main item selected for this evening's recital is one of his very famous Varnams, which describes the personality and divine antics of Krishna, presenting to you the Varnam Ni in the Mayam in the Ragam Danyasi, said to Aditalam, a composition of Sri Papanasam Shivan.
ढलग कुतक ते कुतक तदिंगर न तुम धीनु तत तिमिता हतचम तदचम तचम तचम तनम तचम तरुम तचम तदिम तदितिम तत तिमिता हतचम कृतकचम तचम तचम तनम तचम तरुम तचम तदिम तदीनु तत तिमिता हतचम तदचम तचम तनम तरुम तकदितिम तत तिमिता हतचम कृतकचम तचम तनम तरुम तकदी तिमित तकता तिमित किट तकता किट चोनु त चोनु त चोनु त तिमित तिमित तिम तिमित तक तिमित किट तक किट तक चोनु तक चोनु तक तिमित कर तक तरगड़ तो तक कर तक तक तरगड़ तो तक कर तक तक तरगड़ तो आयुम
มาลุนเมื่อปลาสวามีมีกัลปะสัตยาบามาลุนเมื่อปลาสวามีมีกัลปะสัตยาบา
to take this opportunity to say a few words about the absolutely outstanding orchestra that we have this evening. Though none of them require any sort of an introduction, I consider it an honor and a privilege every time I am provided an opportunity to say a few words about them. Our guru, Kalemamani Srimati Jayanti Subramanyam, is more than just a talented dancer. As the disciple of Adayar K. Lakshman, she imbibed from him a brilliant and chaste style. She learned the nuances of Abhinaya from Padma Bhushan, Srimati Kalanadi Narayanan, and absorbed the intricacies of Natavangam from Bhagavatulu Shri Sita Rama Sharma. Deeply rooted in tradition, her art is well known for its classical purity and deep emotive quality. As a performing artist, she has participated in several prestigious dance festivals and has also conducted workshops in India and abroad. She is an A-grade artist of the Doordarshan and an impaneled artist of the ICCR. She has several awards and accolades to her credit apart from the prestigious Kalaima Mani from the government of Tamil Nadu, the Acharya Chudamani from the Krishnagana Sabang, the Nritya Kala Sagaram from Bhairavi Fine Arts Cleveland, the Nritya Parun Jyoti from Abai and many more. She
She founded her own institution of dance, Kala Darshana, in 1988. Kala Darshana imparts training in the theory and practice of Bharatanatyam to young aspirants from India and abroad. She is ably assisted by her daughter, Srimati Sumitra Subramanyam, and some of the students of Kala Darshana. The institution has several group productions to its credit, namely Sri Krishna Leela Tarangam, Bhaja Govindam, Aranya Kandam, Naukacharitram, Valli Bharatam, Jyotir Gamaya, based on the novel Jonathan Livingston Siegel by Richard Bach, The Panchali Sabadam, and our most recent Kapali Arupati Moor. Students of Kala Darshana have also participated in the productions of Darshanam Art Creations, choreographed by Srimati Jayanti Subramanyam, namely Srinivasam Prapadye, Varadar, the most benevolent god of Kanchi, Tirunarayana, the presiding deity of Mel Kottai, and Kallarahar. Several students of the institution have also been recognized with awards and scholarships. Our vocalist for this evening, Kalemamani Srimati Radha Vadri, is a postgraduate in music from Kalakshetra and is much sought after as much for her sweet nature as for her sweet voice. Having extensively traveled, she has accompanied top-notch dancers in the field of Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi. She is the recipient of several awards and accolades, apart from the Kalai Mamani conferred by the government of Tamil Nadu, and the Natya Sangeeta Kala Bharati by Bharat Kalachar. <laughs> Moving on to our absolutely outstanding Mridangist, Kalai Mamani Shri Nellai D. Kannan. He is the son of Nellai Shri Devaraja Iyer and is known for his resounding rhythmical essays which provide a strong base for any performance which you have clearly witnessed this evening. <laughs> a top graded artist of the All India Radio, he has an inimitable style. He has travelled extensively, accompanying senior artists in the field of Bharatanatyam. He is practically family for Kaladarshana and Kaladarshana is indeed very fortunate to have had his guidance right from his inception. Our violinist, Shri Kalayarasan, is the son of the distinguished Mridanga Vidwan, Sangeeta Bhushanam Shri A.S. Ramanathan, retired professor from Annamalai University. One of the most popular and sought after violinists for Bharatanatyam, he is the disciple of Srimati Ghanda Devi Mitra Dev and has graduated with honors from Annamala University, Chidambaram, with the title of Sangeeta Bhushanam. He has over 25 years of experience as a Carnatic music and Bharatanatyam violinist and has accompanied several leading Bharatanatyam artists for performances in India and abroad. He has also participated in several music and dance DVD productions. He has received the Best Supporting Violinist Award for Dance from the Krishnagana Sabha and the Best Accompanying Artist for Dance from VDS Arts Academy. <laughs> he is also a permanent member of Bharata Kalanjali, run by Padma Bhushan Shri VP Dhananjayan and Srimati Shanta Dhananjayan and is a part of all their school performances and productions. He was the recipient of the prestigious Sudharani Raghupati Endowment Award by Natya Rangam in the year 2011. He has worked with several prestigious Indian classical dance organizations such as the Shakti Dance Company of California, Natya Dance Theatre of Chicago, Nrityanjali Inc. of Washington and many more. Our brilliant flautist, Shri J.B. Shruti Sagar, <laughs> is an accomplished flautist in the field of Carnatic music. He received his initial training on the flute from Shri Balasai. He later pursued music under the tutelage of Dr. Sundar. Learning from a violinist, my apologies, learning from a vocalist enabled him to employ the Gayaka style in playing the instrument he is known for his strict adherence to tradition and has carved a niche for himself in the field. He has several awards to his credit, 
including the prestigious Bismillah Khan Yuva Purashkar conferred by the Sangeet Natak Academy, the Yagna Raman Award of Excellence from the Krishnagana Sabha, the Kalki Krishnamurti Memorial Award, and the MS Subalakshmi Fellowship from Shanmukhananda Fine Arts, Mumbai. Our entire orchestra, they have been with us right from the very beginning, and all of them are practically family to us. And we have all been performing together for a very, very long time now. We are extremely fortunate to have had the opportunity to dance to their wonderful music. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Ananya will continue her recital with a kirtanam. This kirtanam has been composed by yet another legendary 19th century composer, Sri Neela Kantashivan. Originally named Subramanyam, this composer remained detached from worldly life at a very young age. Extremely devoted to all the gods and goddesses of the Hindu pantheon, he penned the Neelakanta Dashakam and Umayal Dashakam at a very early stage in his life. He renamed himself as Neelakanta Dasan and used the word Neelakanta in his compositions. Neelakanta Shivan is also credited with penning 90 kritis on Shiva, 21 kritis on Devi, 50 kritis on Muruga, and 8 kritis on Ganesha. He has also composed operas such as the Meenakshi Amman Kalyana Charitram. One of the very special aspects of his compositions was the inclusion of jatis, which provided a flourish to the entire composition. Presenting to you the very, very famous composition Ananda Natamadu Artile in the Ragam Purvi Kalyani, set to Rupa Katalam, choreographed by the late Sri Adayarke Lakshman.
ಸ್ಪೃಶ್ಯತೆ ಯಸ್ಯ ನಗರೆ ರಂಗಯಾತ್ರ ದಿನೇ ದಿನೇ ತಮಹಂ ಶಿರಸ ಒಂದೇ ರಾಜಾಂ ಕುಲಶೇಖರ ಕುಲಶೇಖರ ಆಳ್ವಾರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ರಾಯಲ್ ಸೇಂಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೌನ್ ಜುವಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀನಿಯಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರಾವಂಕೋರ್ ಹು ರೂಲ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಪದ್ಮದಾಸ್ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭದಾಸ ಹೀ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಡನ್ ಡೆವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಾ he held discourses on the ramayana in his palace on a daily basis this daily recitation of the ramayana was a sacred ritual that kulashekara alwar followed with utmost devotion every important event which was read was celebrated with great ceremony pomp and rejoicings the statue of rama enshrined in his palace's temple room after having completed the veneration inside the palace would be paraded through the streets of the city in all grandeur which ended with a feast for vaishnavite brahmins members of the spiritual aristocracy and the local people a scholar in tamil he composed 105 pasurams in praise of rama and krishna the pasuram selected for this evening's recital is in the form of a lullaby for rama presenting to you mannu pugal kosalaitan in ragamalika set to adi taalam a composition of kulasekara alwar
மண் I 
Ladies and gentlemen, a short announcement before Ananya concludes her Bharatanatya Marangetram. The felicitation ceremony will be happening right after the Tillana. I humbly request each and every one of you to stay till the very end of the ceremony. The Tillana is one of the most beautiful items in a Bharatanatya Margam. Packed with crisp and ornate rhythmic patterns, brisk footwork and lyrical movements, it culminates in a Pallavi invoking a deity. The Sahityam of this Tilana is in praise of Goddess Kamakshi of Kanchipuram, presenting to you a Tilana in the Ragam Hindolam set to Khandaye Katalam, a composition of Tirgokaranam Vaidyanadair. Dhrita ni tani tum, dhrita ni 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 t
I kindly request our esteemed guest to be escorted to the dais. I would like to take this opportunity to say a few words about our esteemed guests. Srimati Urmila Satyanarayanan is among the most inspired and dedicated Bharatanatyam exponents of her generation. Her nimble movements and pristine quality of expression, facilitated by her intrinsic charisma and irrepressible cheerfulness, continues to enthrall audiences from all over the world. As a child, she had her initial training under Guru Padmashri K. N. Dandayudapani Pillai and was later groomed by Kuru Kalei Mamani Srimati K. J. Sarasa. She had her Arangetram on the 4th of January 1974 at the Madras Music Academy in the esteemed presence of the then Governor of Tamil Nadu. Her achievements and contribution to the field of Bharatanatyam knows no bounds and her relentless devotion to the art form led to the inception of her own institution, Natya Sankalpa, which was started on April 21st, 1996. The formal inauguration of the trust was held the following year. It was very clear. He said, don't Sabha, come. Under the august presence of Srimati M.S. Subalakshmi and Srimati Padma Subramaniam. Her institution, Natya Sankalpa, has continued to make steady progress over the years. Arangetrams are conducted every year by the institution, with 162 Arangetrams completed till date. Her students have presented recitals within the country and abroad, and her senior students are currently part of the mainstream Bharatanatyam circuit. Natya Sankalpa believes in the creation of holistic artists. 
Hence, theory of dance, Carnatic music, and yoga are a part of the school's curriculum. Examinations are held periodically to evaluate the theoretical as well as the practical knowledge of the student. Strong emphasis is also laid on imparting cultural values. Within a very short span of time, the institution has been recognized as a center of excellence for its training methodology. The institution also has several productions to its credit, such as Goda, The Turning Point, the story of three immortal saints who were actually sinners and in a moment of revelation, their life purpose changes and they became ardent devotees of the Lord who spread their devotion through songs and poetry. The Panchali Sabadam, Meera, the Lotus of Prem, Sabapati, a descriptive of the five dance halls of Nataraja, Rama Rasanubhavam, and Sauryam, an ode to the sun god Surya. Apart from being an A-grade artist of the Doordarshan Kendra, she also comes under the outstanding category of Bharatanatyam artists, impaneled by the ICCR New Delhi. She has several awards and accolades to her credit. The Kalai Mamani, conferred by the state government of Tamil Nadu. The Nadana Mamani, by Karthik Fine Arts. The Nritya Tujamani, by Krishna Gana Sabha the MGR Award by the Madras Music Academy, the Nritya Kala Nipuna by the Mailapur Fine Arts Club, Natya Padmam by Brahmagana Sabha, and the most recent being the Sangeet Natak Academy Award, to name a few. We are extremely honored to have you with us today, ma'am. I now request Ananya's mother, Srimati Aarti Nagarajan, to honor Srimati Urmila Satyanarayanan. A few words about Guru Chembai Sri R. Vaidyanathan, sir. He is the disciple of Padma Bhushan Sri P. S. Narayana Swami. He reigns from the divine family lineage of the great musician, late Sri Chembai Vaidyanatha Bhagavatar. He is an A grade artist of the All India Radio and has been performing extensively for the last 20 years at various sabhas within the country. He has also performed at a plethora of institutions in the United States. His academic merits include the Ghana Praveena, whose diploma from the Chembai Memorial Government Music College for seven years of intense training at the advanced level, and the teacher's certified course accorded by the Music Academy Chennai and the government of Tamil Nadu. He has also delivered several lecture demonstrations and given performances at the national and international level under a variety of prestigious banners such as the Music Academy, the Narada Gana Sabha, Krishna Gana Sabha, Karthik Fine Arts, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan's Youth Association for Classical Music, the Tripala Tripati Devasthanam, Shanmugananda, Mumbai, Shringeri Sharada Peetam, Kolkata, Swati Tirunal Sangeeta Sabha, Kerala, the Tamar Sangam in Michigan, USA, the Canton Temple, Samagana Heritage Foundation and Detroit, USA, to name a few. He has served as a music lecturer at various institutions such as the Kalakshetra Foundation, Chennai, the Teachers College of Music of the Music Academy, the Kalpana Swaram School of Music, Detroit, USA, and La Chatelain Residential School. He is currently serving as a music lecturer at three institutions, namely the Advanced School of Music of the Music Academy, the Swami Haridos Giri School of Music, Nardagana Sabha, and the Varamina School of Music, Kerala. He also coaches students from India and abroad at a private level. 
He has won several awards and titles, such as the Maharaja Puram Santanam Award and the Best Music Teacher Award by Nardagana Sabha. <laughs> Kala Acharya Shironmani from VTS Arts Academy, Chennai. Gana Kala Vipanchi awarded by Vipanchi. Astana Vidwan of Kanchi Kamakoti Peetam. <laughs> Kurali Sai Selvar by the Virupuram Music College, Government of Tamil Nadu. The Yuvakala Jyoti by Sri Sadguru Vedaparayana Trust, to name a few. His students have also won several competitions at an individual level and as a group under famous banners such as the Music Academy, the Times Tyagaraja Award Series and the HCL Series of Concerts. We are indeed honored to have you with us today, sir. I humbly request Ananya's father, Sri A.S. Nagarajan, to honor Chembai Arvaidyanadan, sir. I humbly request Srimati Urmila Satyanarayanan to share her thoughts with us. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. When she said, uh, <coughs> sorry, I humbly request her to share her thoughts. You don't have to request me, I'm just bursting to share my thoughts. There are some days where you feel so, so satisfied, so happy, so elated, so uh, the only word that I can think of is a word in Tamil, where, where you feel so content and so happy that art is where it is today. And um, today's Bharatanatyam performance, Arangetram, was like watching a Spirit of Youth performance at the music, uh, music Academy, and I'm not even exaggerating. Hats off to Jayanti, Ananya, and our wonderful team of musicians today. I mean, I even forgot after a point that it was actually an Arangetram. I mean, there was so much of flow and ease and confidence in Ananya's Arangetram today. She really looked like Ranganayaki herself, so true to her name. Her, that cherubic face and those beautiful large eyes, so expressive. Those are divine blessings. And the child is abundantly blessed with those. And with the able Natwangam choreography and training of Jayanti, which was so impeccable. And it was a treat for both the eyes as well as the ears. I mean, our orchestra, I mean, the artists today are superlative artists, each of them in their own field. And it has also come together so beautifully today. Sometimes even the best of artists, on certain days, it may not be the best day for whatever reason. But today, it was each one's the best day. So the culmination of that was something so very beautiful, including Jayanti's Natvangam. Just setting the tone, the Kalapramanam under so much control. I mean, and Radha's mellifluous music, Shruti Sagar, Kalayarasan, each and every item, it was truly, truly a visual and, and, and a treat for the ears as well as for the eyes. Right at the very beginning when Ananya entered the stage with the Pushpanjali, I could see the confidence and I could see the fact that this child was waiting to take the stage with so much enthusiasm. Usually on an Arangetram, the child is diffident. It takes them an item or two to settle down or at least a few uh, moments to settle down. But in this case, it was different. She was like waiting and raring to go. And you could see that that joy and that effervescence right from the Pushpanjali followed by the Shlokam and then uh, the Alaripu. And what I really liked about the Jatiswaram and every part of uh, the Nritta of Ananya's uh, Arangetram is the clean lines, the clean lines right from the way she held herself, the poise and so much of clarity, whether it was her footwork, whether it was a Natyarambam, whether it was a Saushtavam, whatever it was, any any pose that she held, there was a lot of clarity. And there was a lot of, um, once again, the word confidence only is coming to, to my mind. Because 
I think between the, the teacher and the dancer, they must have practiced this so many, many times that I think, you know, it's become part of her system now. So it's just flowing, like her blood flows through the veins. You don't have any control over it. So similarly, it was just flowing and it was, that is, that is what one looks for, you know, beyond uh, all the, the things that one expects. It's, it's this joy, it is this rasa that one waits for as an artist as well as as a rasika. And then the Shabdam was, of course, her Abhinayam. That's the first time you were seeing her Abhinayam, which was so very, very, um, what shall I say, clear, lucid. And her face itself has that, that charm and that grace that one gets automatically attracted to watching what she has to say. And I must uh, 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 congratulate uh, you, Jayanti, on the, the choice of items, each and every item about a different deity, each item adding a flavor, each having its own tone. So very beautiful. And this very Shabdam, these lyrics I'm hearing for the first time. I do the Shabdam. I mean, we do it in our school as well. But the lyrics are different. And uh, the way you had handled it, it was also something so beautiful to watch. And Jenny, it's like her personality has so much of content in it, so much of... Uh, rootedness in it and it, it's such a pleasure to watch whether it is the Abhinayam that she choreographs or whether it is her uh, pure dance sections and after that the the beautiful the marathon piece Neenda Mayam was such a treat and each and every Thirmanam my, my god the child did I think about six or eight or ten Thirmanams I think Jayanti just had a free flow and <laughs> it was coming one after the other like a cascade and uh, so, so beautiful uh, to watch. And uh, even the finale of the Varnam, it ended on such a bright note. And uh, here I must definitely, definitely talk about each and every person in the orchestra, whether it was Radha's voice in that Dhanyasi and Kannan sir's embellishment of each and every. There wasn't one pause. There wasn't one dull moment. I mean, it was like almost two hours. And, uh, you know, to keep that momentum up is not a joke. And all the different patterns that Sir played today. And I must also congratulate the dancer for not, uh, she wasn't threatened by it at all. She actually enjoyed it. So uh, that was, that added that beauty to it. And Kalayarasan Sir's violin and Shruti's uh, flute, it was like such a beautiful harmony of the best music that I've heard in recent times. And Amanjavandada, that's the main thing. Sometimes you practice very hard. It might be the most prestigious platform where you're performing. It may not come together like how it has come together today. And I think a lot of that has to do with the grace of the divine. <laughs> the second half, each of the, whether it was the Kirtanam and, of course, um, Lakshman sir's choreography and the way she held her pose. And uh, then the Kulashekar Alvar's uh, Talata, which had both uh, the Talata section as well as, you know, so you could see this dancer trying to put the child to sleep at the same time. So much of, uh, 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 so much of storytelling in terms of the Ramayana, which was also packed with such, uh, you know, brisk movements. And of course, uh, the, the classic Tilana, which was the grand finale. So I, I truly enjoyed each and every moment of today's Arangetram. And I must thank you, Jayanti, for inviting me uh, to this beautiful Arangetram of Ananyas today. And I wholeheartedly applaud Ananyas' parents and her extended family, the lineage that she comes from. It is so many things when a dancer performs on stage. There are so many factors that go into it. And I must congratulate her parents. I know what effort it takes. I always say when a dancer performs on stage, there are 100 people dancing backstage or in her life to make her, to support her to perform on the stage. And I must congratulate wholeheartedly. And I applaud the parents. And I truly express my appreciation to the parents, despite uh, the busy lives that everyone leads today and with all the commitments that parents have to be able to fetch and carry her from class and, you know, to put in the kind of effort that this requires, I, I truly congratulate you, uh, both of you. And I thank Jayanti. I once again congratulate Ananya and for this wonderful evening and all the lovely members of the orchestra. Namaskaram. Thank you.
Thank you so much, ma'am, for your words of encouragement. It means the world to our students when we listen to such encouraging words from gurus of her caliber. So thank you so much for those words, ma'am. I request Vaidyanath and sir to share his thoughts with us, please. Namaskaram to all. Nikina, actually, Vulu Nera now would dance program first time than a student to Bartherke. Anna Nane and then go, Idme Varte, Pacer the game deal and Solina, Rumba Pramada Madra, and our party than Aria Patrick Atla. அவளுக்குள்ளாஸ்க்கு <laughs> So, that's why I'm not sure how to do it. Always, I'm a hard worker. 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 I'm a ஜெயந்தீப மாதிரி அந்த மாதிரி எங்கள் யாருக்குமே கிடைக்காது அவ்வளோ நன்னா அவ்வளோ ஸ்ரத்தையாக இன்னும் அவளோட ஒரு ப்ரோக்ராமும் நான் அந்த கல்லழகர் ப்ரோக்ராம் போயிருந்தேன் அதெல்லாம் ரொம்ப நினச்சே பார்க்க முடியாது யாராலையும் அந்த மாதிரி ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் அதெல்லாம் பண்ணிட்டுருக்கா அந்த குழந்தைகள் எல்லாருமே ரொம்ப பாகியம் பண்ணியிருக்கா அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு குருவிட்ட கற்றுக்கிறதுக்கு ரியர்லி பிளஸ்ட் அதெல்லாம் யாருக்குமே கிடைக்காது ஸோ அனன்யா இஸ் ஸோ லக்கி அவர் இன்னும் மேலும் மேலே நிறைய நன்னா உலகம் பூரா ஆடணும் குருவோட ஆசீர்வாதத்தில் இன்னும் நன்மைக்கும் கலை எல்லாத்துலேயுமே அவள் ஃபஸ்ட்டாக இருக்கணும் ஆல்வேஸ் மை பிளஸ்ஸிங் ஹார்ட்டி பிளஸ்ஸிங் டு ஹர் ஃபேமிலி ஆல்சோ அண்ட் எல்லாருக்குமே தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் சார் இட் இஸ் சச் அ பிளஸ்ஸிங் டு ஹாவ் யுவர் ஓன் மியூசிக் குரு ஆஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் அட் யுவர் அரங்கேற்றம் ஐ ஐ நோ எக்ஸாக்ட்லி வாட் இட் ஃபீல்ஸ் லைக் பீங் அ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஆஃப் மியூசிக் மை செல்ஃப் I request Ananya to honor the members of the orchestra. Our Guru, Kalaimamani Srimati Jayanti Subramaniam. Kalaimamani Srimati Radha Badri on vocal. கலைமாமணி ஸ்ரீ நெல்லை டி கண்ணன் அந்த மிருதங்கம் ஸ்ரீ கலையரசன் அந்த வயலின் Shri J.B. Shruti Sagar on the flute. Ananya would now like to honor her Guru Srimati Bhagya Lakshmi Suresh. I kindly request her to be escorted to the dais.
Ananya would like to honor Srimati Sumitra Subramaniam as well. Ananya would now like to honor her sister-in-law, Manasa, for all the constant support and encouragement throughout her dance journey. I request the makeup artist, Sri Albert, to please come and collect a memento from Ananya. I request a representative from Pushpa Visuals to kindly collect a memento from Ananya. The sound and light technicians of the Rasikaranjani Sabha, Ananya would like to honor you as well. Ananya's costumes have been stitched by Alex. If he is present, I would like him to be escorted to the dais as well. The invitations have been printed by Multicraft. If a representative is here from their company. I apologize for saying this. Um, Ananya would like to honor me as well. It's just a form of saying thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, my batchmates were far too shy to come up and say my name, so I had to say my own name. <laughs> I'm Reeti Murari. I'm also a disciple of Srimati Jayati Subramaniam. <laughs> Our Guru will now present Ananya with a memento. Ananya will now deliver the vote of thanks. Namaskaram to one and all present in the dais and in the gallery. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to my parents, all my gurus, and God for their blessings. <laughs> my guru, Jayanti Aunty, sorry. My guru, Jayanti Aunty, is an embodiment of grace, 
patience, and is a real role model to me, not only in dance, but in every walk of life. <laughs> Even your silence teaches us, Baba, auntie. <laughs> Thank you so much, auntie, for all your support and guidance. I am also thankful to Sumi Akka for her constant inspiration, which helped all of us to fine tune our dance. I would specially like to thank the orchestra for their great support today. Thank you so much. Urmil Aunty and CRV sir, your gracious presence is a dream come true for me. Thank you so much for your kind words and thank you for being here despite all your tight schedules. I would sincerely like to thank all my seniors, especially Padma Priyaka, Reeti Akka, Sahana Akka, and my dear Manni Manasa for their consistent support and motivation. You have not only inspired me, but also you've demonstrated perfection in your dance through your performances. My batchmates, particularly Sahana, Sucheta, and Niveta, thank you so much for encouraging and stimulating me when I needed it the most. I would specially like to thank Alexa for the costumes, Albert and Bhupati uncle for the makeup, RR Sabha for the light and sound, Pushpa visuals for photos and videos, Multicraft for the invita invitation designing and printing. Words are inadequate to express my gratitude to my parents, my brother Anand, my grandfather, my friends, and all my re relatives who have taken their efforts to come here for me today. Once again, I would like to thank one and all for your gracious presence on the occasion of my Arangetu. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now be concluding with a mangalam. Post the mangalam, please do join us for dinner at the restaurant and have a lovely evening. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience. Oh, my God. 